I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my 2017 report for you, Leo, and you can also go along afterwards and have a look at it on my website, jenniferangel.com in written form, okay? All right, so let's have a look at what's going on. So for 2017, this is a dynamic and advantageous year for you. Eclipse energy in and opposite your, your sign in 2017, make it the time of new beginnings, changes, and as Jupiter moves to your area of um, family and home later in the year, there are personal opportunities to enrich your life right through the year, which is very, very exciting. Okay, let's have specifically a look at your personal life. So your love life gets a hit of potent eclipse energy, okay? So if you're single, then this certainly can be the year you meet someone fabulous who can just fit right into your lifestyle. So make sure though that you check your emotional baggage at the door. Uh, as you know, you don't want to take in past lessons to a, a new relationship, that's for sure. You have a chance now for a fresh start, so don't blemish it with the past. Be careful not to do that. And if you're in a relationship that's not working, then you can decide to walk away this year. And if so, then don't look back and have no regrets. So you really, it's up to you. You can make it work. You can decide that you've you know, you're done, um, but it just open up to love in your life. And this is the year that it can happen. If you're already happily in love with your perfect partner, then you get a chance to strengthen your commitment and, and a chance to overcome any niggling irritations that all relationships have and clearing the air to move forward with a new and vi vibrant and brighter vibration between you. So, um, you know, it's all very, very very positive in that way around your love life either way so your family life is always very important Leo but uh, will be more so during and after the month of October takes on a special significance okay so on the professional side with your career and business what you do this year will help to build solid foundations for the future. So working with others, either in um, a partnership or a team environment can bring success. Uh, the type of success that can provide financial security and abundance. So to really get you on your feet and to, and to build that security, which is so very important. And not just security, but you know, the cash flow that allows you to just, you know, live life and, you know, so then you work to live, not live to work, all right? It's, it's a year of collaboration with others where you can aim for win-win outcomes, the very best outcomes and arrive at them, which gives you a great deal of satisfaction as well. So, but you want to be aware of power struggles with authority and try to avoid them and sidestep them if you can, okay? Sometimes you're going to have to go up against a power struggle, but to try to, you are the, the negotiator of the zodiac. So, you know, a negotiation, it's not necessarily an argument as such. It's just playing the chess game of life, okay? Now, there's generally another way to move forward to achieve your goals if you think about it. You know, there's not just one way. So, you know, if you do hit, um, a, you know, hit a wall, then find another way and take it. So the point here is that never give up, Leah. Not that you would, okay? But there's always another way to get through and you can find that and arrive at win-win outcomes through doing, through doing it. So be careful though not to make rash decisions that are solely made by yourself. You know, it is wise to consult others, particularly if they are, um, you know, have, they're in the outcome of what's going on. And it's wise to get advice, but, you know, make sure that you get advice from people that you trust and respect. You want to be a little bit careful about who you share your business with. Your business is your business, okay? So this year for success, it's important to set yourself positive 
habits as well. Positive habits that stem from disciplined routines. So the more organized you are, the more in control you will be of your purpose and goals in life. Okay, so it's it's really um, crucial that you get like those routines in your life set. Of course, you know, there's always some flexibility you need to keep in your schedule, as we know. All right, so for 2017, your greatest asset is the ability to connect with people. Your attitude and just your, simply your presence is inspiring to be around. Your biggest challenge is to be still and mindful to combine your logic and intuitive senses. So not to fill every waking moment with activity, to build in some of that still quiet time. And yes, that's gonna be challenging for you, always, particularly this year. The positive affirmation that I put down for you, and you can go along to jenniferangel.com and write this down if you like, is when we work together, nothing is impossible. For spiritual advancement, teachers who are wiser and more soulful can broaden your horizons during this year. And in summing up, solar eclipse energy can propel you into the success zone this year. It certainly can. Um, uh, you know, all eclipse energy is powerful, but for you it's right there uh, in and opposite your, your sign, very influential, and provides you with new beginnings and inspiration to put into action what you've been waiting for. It's like all of a sudden all your hard work can come together now. So be strategic, stay focused, and work with others for win-win outcomes, and you will be well on your way to the winning circle, exactly where you love to be, okay? All right, so um, thank you so much for watching. You can go along to, and for supporting me through the years, you can go along to jenniferangel.com. I have lots of reports, complimentary reports here right through the year. Um, my uh, daily horoscopes, which I'm so well known for, for writing them for New York Daily Use for 10 years, are now on jenniferangel.com. Um, and I have weekly horoscopes that are in Star Magazine, week ahead, monthly, pet monthly, uh, and lots of articles. So I hope you enjoyed the site. I hope I see you there often and daily. And of course, here on the YouTube channel, I'll continue to do the weekly horoscopes. So thanks so much for your support and your love and your notes through the year. And uh, I look forward to seeing you um, every single week or daily on the website. Love and luck to you. I hope something amazing happens for each and every one of you through 2017. Bye for now.